Uh, boy, it sure has been above average. We saw temperatures back into the mid 60s yesterday, all the way down the I 5 quarter. Same goes for the coast. As you head over to Central Oregon, it was back to the low 70s for Redmond, the Dells, Pendleton, LaGrand, even down in Rome, all topping out at that 70 degree mark yesterday. Now, 64 degrees is considerably above average. We're talking almost 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Not quite record setting, though, not like Sunday. Uh, the record close to 75 degrees, uh, and uh, that was set back in 1934. Now, we haven't just been warm in the afternoon. It's also been warm overnight. Uh, we only fell to the low 50s. The average for this time of year is upper 30s. Uh, so, again, it hasn't been that cold in a while. We'll get though there, though, here for the second half of the week. Right now, it's still warm, 52 at the Eugene Airport. Dew point at that same level, and that's why uh, we're starting to see that fog forming once again here. Uh, the winds are off the east, very light, and that visibility right now at 10 miles. It's patchy fog and it's moving pretty quickly, so uh, it just really depends on where you are if you run into one of those pockets of fog this morning. You can see clear conditions here across the entire state, and uh, the reason why we've seen clear skies and the warmer weather is that jet stream continues to be well to the north of us, keeping the stormy weather there at bay. We do have a cold front, though, and as this jet stream starts to slide down to the east, that cold front's going to get here later tonight. I do expect scattered showers after about 8 o'clock here for the valley, and then those will stick with us on Wednesday. As we head into Thursday and Friday, even into the weekend, we're going to see a very cold air mass start to move down from the Gulf of Alaska. Not a ton of rain with this, uh, but again, those temperatures are going to get very chilly and we're going to see snow levels drop uh, to at least 2,500 feet here by the end of the week. So snow for the passes. Uh, it's very chilly rain showers here for the valley. The bottom line today, still warm, again foggy today. Uh, we'll see those rain showers returning tonight. Colder conditions Wednesday all the way through Saturday. Again, showers off and on during that same time period, which will all change to snow once you get above 3,000 feet and that snow level staying low in those higher foothills all the way through early next week. So it's going to start to look a little bit more like winter. For the coast, highs will be in the low 60s today. So again, rather warm morning fog. You'll see that rain later in the day. Uh, the wind staying light out there today. You'll see scattered showers Wednesday all the way through Friday. Saturday's looking dry at this point before we see another storm move in here Sunday night. For those of you in the Umpqua Basin, back into the mid 60s, also putting up with that morning fog, a dry and partly sunny this afternoon. Your high temperatures moving from the 60s to the 40s Thursday, and you'll stay there all the way through Saturday. And the Cascades, warm there as well. That freezing level clear up to 13,000 feet. Highs close to 60 degrees up at Willamette and Santa Ana Pass today. Mostly sunny skies there. Again, that freezing level is going to move from 13,000 feet all the way down to 3,000 feet by Thursday, down to 2,500 feet there by Friday. For Central Oregon, also nice and warm, sunny, high temperatures back up close to 70 degrees. You're going to move from 70s to 50s to 40s and then down to the 30s for Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows will fall to the mid 20s. And so when we see those rain showers, it'll be likely that we see uh, that rain transition to snow just during the overnight hours. And for the valley, highs are going to be in the low 60s, morning fog, afternoon sun breaks. We'll see that rain move in. I'm expecting it to get to the valley after about 8 o'clock tonight. We'll see showers off and on continuing Wednesday. You see that chilly air really starts to settle in here Thursday as those highs are going to struggle to get out of the 40s. Uh, that'll continue all the way through the weekend. At the same time, we're going to see those overnight lows drop down into the mid 30s.